Hello, I'm Harry Street TV, and remember, if you don't have to, I have game log west new episodes, and all of us need to play for the weapon. Today we'll be talking about things I don't like about modern times, and that'll be easy for me. Round number one, humor. There was a lot of great humor in both efforts, both episodes, out of fantasy and the clincher. Out of fantasy only had one great bit, but the clincher had no. It was practically going throughout the whole episode. How fancy had the scene where Rick worked on a little couch by Bubble Cowking him. And Frank Bob actually dropped the couch on Rick Wack, but of course, it's still messy and broken. Ooh, or. The Splinter had, had themes like Patrick Wedding, Patrick Mill, and Wedding to find that stuff. Got a little alert. <laughs> um, Puss working out when Bob Stump went with the crab cooking out. And Squidward trying to hurt himself. Like throwing a castle, castle and going the air and making it land on him. That's another bit I want to talk about, but I'll get to that later. I don't see old Spongebob. I'm excited to have some of this place. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to but some of the characters were really goosey in the new Spongebob. Really mean, really horrid, really nasty. And that goes, those two characters are Mr. Crab and Patrick. I think that's four, you don't know what. I know Patrick's an idiot, but you don't know whether he's just doing it to doing it by accident or the kind of Spongebob or Patrick. He's rude to him, he's rude to him, get to him whenever he's in danger. Yell at him, quick word if he doesn't get a, a crabby party. And, and get angry with fun brothers if he forgets his birthday, which kind of sounds like a tiny kind of bit of a good reason, but there's no need to blame fun for it. If you, there's no need to blame Spongebob for it, perhaps if it's you should be blamed for not telling him. Right, so, point goes to the old, um, instead of shouting at Spongebob, I mean Patrick, instead of shouting at Spongebob, Patrick would probably just back to him, but he always does when he gets past the problem. Um, Mr. Crab. He was selfish and greedy in the original Spongebob as well. But at least he had a heart. Now he's now he's just kind of a heart to rock. And um, he obsessed with money. And no, he doesn't speak up baby for money. He just knew it was Clanton and a baby costume. Um, in, um, Point goes to the old Mickey Crab woman speak up the baby in front of the He would just. He would just. Well, he would just maybe open the mouth and. use some kind of. milk bottle to suck plants and out of the uh, uh, Point goes to the old. Well, three, with the past. What was the about two? Uh, that would be. Well, so, Squidward. In the original, Squidward was a lovable goose who always 
got caught and the calm attack while I was being mean to his friends and driven from his mind. But now they just well the creator and take advantage of that. Um and that oh the creator take advantage of that and now they just beat up Squidward as much as they can. I mean can't we get one just one episode where Squidward gets a break. Apart from y little yellow but um, no, point going to be old. And, well, at least you're glad to get the nuts so often. And, I kind of like the change in fan I like the fact that she, you know, it's funny how she comes up with science. And, it's not a rip off from Jimmy Neutron, it's an information. Um, Are you ready, kids? So I have to go now, alright? It's uh, 5 30, 2 or 3 or something in, in the morning. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Um, so I have to go and it's so and yellow and <coughs> Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm Harry Flintree B. I'm a member of the You don't have to.